Hello, and welcome to Unusual Radio with Tanya and Ed and Sadie with her toy. So with her loud, loud bone. Yes, hold on, hold on. I did not pull up the weather yet because I've been busy. It is currently 57 here, and it's a little chilly. Tomorrow's supposed to be a high of 71, going down to 36. Hello, Diane. So it's going to be quite the day. <laughs> Hello, Eddie. Hello, April. I got another damn fly in here. What the hell? It's kill it. It's kill it. It's kill it. Okay. So as you can see, Ed and I are closer together because everyone's been <clears throat> freaking out. I actually enjoyed being farther away, not getting hit, but oh. ah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why do oh, I bring is, things up? This is so much better now. <laughs> okay. 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 So. Whoa. Okay. Ooh, let's turn oh, off yeah. that. Turn that we off. We was listening to Christmas music. We were. Actually, I think it was Ed's fault. I think he turned it off. It wouldn't be me no. that actually. Christmas fan with 200 Santas? Oh, my God. I don't know what he speaks of at all. Hello, Joe. Hello, Robert. Yeah, so I have no idea what you're speaking of. So, Hello, April, Eddie, Joe, Robert, <laughs> Diane. So anyway. And someone else probably. <laughs> so anyway, uh, again, I just wanted to recap that Sunday you want to tune in because I'm going to have Anthony here who's going to be talking all about the Vatican. He has a book coming out and you're not going to want to miss this about uh, money laundering, Pope stuff. So going to shock you. So we are going live at three o'clock on Sunday. So um, you know, try Excuse to me. tune in. Who's the list? Oh, Robert. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, try to tune in if you can. You and see, then, um, Eddie. Eddie. Yes. Good evening, gorgeous. And hi, Ed. <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. It's usually when somebody says, hello, gorgeous, hello, beautiful, I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> I can't get away with it that time. He's on to you. Look, Tanya found a booby for me. <laughs> uh -huh. yes. I'm happy. So, anyway, we <clears throat> are still in the process. We're almost done with the studio, as you can see, but we still have to work on the cameras and the angles and the all kinds of stuff. So the angles and the dangles. But for the most part, we're set up. Uh, we have half the lighting done, as you can tell, but we still have more to work on. So that's going to be done. Well, I'll do it, start working on it tomorrow morning prior to going to see Bob's uh, little service. service. Yes. They have a history thing going on there. I tell you that, right? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there's yeah, a historic yeah. thing going on. At the same place, the Vermeil House in North Plainfield. He was a revolutionary general. What is this? Where, where is the surface? It's at the Vermeil House, okay. right on Greenberg Road in North Plainfield. Okay. It's half a mile from his house. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> there's some kind of a historical thing going on. It's actually like a fifth generation great 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 grandson of this general guy who helped defeat the British. Okay. Oh, he might. But it goes from like 10 to 4, and his service goes from 4 to 9. Right. <clears throat> okay. Might have been kicking some British ass on the way in. You know what I'm saying? Show them how Jersey works. Don't make me open up a can of Jersey. Fuck you, man. This is Jersey. Get the fuck back to England. Okay. So anyway. And I like the English people. Don't, don't think I'm right here. Yes. We like yes. everyone. Are you kidding me? Yes. Okay, so w now <clears throat> Wednesday we were talking about Halloween and the different things that you could do. Well, and me we watched. Yes. Halloween. Yes, we did. Wednesday night. Yes, we did. So introducing. So tonight, tonight we have to watch JJ. 
Anyway, so, okay, now, <clears throat> Shocktoberfest. Now, I was checking out um, what happens in Munich, uh, Germany, and um, it is a Shocktoberfest. Now, do you know how Oktoberfest started, anyone? I Ed? think it had to do with <clears throat> a king of the Ottoman Empire looking at big boobs and said, let's all drink and get laid. No. Okay. okay. I was wrong. You are wrong. Okay, anyway. I was hopeful, but I was wrong. No. Actually, how it started mm -hmm. was um, in 1810, in honor of Bavarian Crown Prince Ludwig's uh, marriage to Princess Therese von Sachsen, Hildenbergen Hassen. Um, the festivities began October 12th <clears throat> and ended October 17th. Mm. That is actually how Oktoberfest got started <clears throat> from a marriage. Now, I hey, whatever works. Hold it. From what I'm reading about Oktoberfest, I'm just wondering if this marriage survived after that October fest. <laughs> Probably not. It was like a Hollywood marriage. <clears throat> so uh, I guess we'll I'll have to find that out. You know, I didn't really think. Kupen von Wunderbahn? Von Hussen. Von Hussey? No wonder it didn't last. Oh my God. Really? Yes. Really? Okay. Now, Ed, yes. you need to pull up what I sent you because I did. I'm going. He's going to read you some <clears throat> the inside Munich's adult only Oktoberfest that has beer, boobs, and bonking, where <gasps> naked revelers enjoy enjoy wild sex games. Now, was <clears throat> this what went on for this wedding? Hmm. I this don't is know. what I want to know. This is why I want to know <clears throat> if this marriage lasted. Or maybe... It only she, lasted as long as the no, Viagra. No, hold on. Maybe that's what she was into. Oh, that's why he wanted to oh. marry her. <laughs> she had a little spice going there. I need my knights at the round table <laughs> to come around this. <laughs> She's on the round table. Everybody <laughs> takes a shot. Spin the wheel. <laughs> oh, it's Ed's turn. Is it now? <laughs> Wait. Oh, man. You're a freak. Yo, King, I need some more of that vi 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 uh, Excuse me. I can't believe you don't have one of your choo-choos on. Uh, you can't believe? I can't believe it. No. Well, believe it. <clears throat> really? Nice boobs. Oh, he's looking at what I sent him. Anyway. Well, her too. I was looking there. Oh, please. I fucking hate these things. I can't wait till they're gone. I know you do. Anyway. Let's see. Oh, actually, the screen. See, that's what I was pointing at. But when I pointed at the screen, it looked like I was pointing at the wall. Sorry. <laughs> Freak. <laughs> so, anyway, continue. <clears throat> Read on. So the author, author, Georgette Cully, in Germany, um, <clears throat> she was crawling through a giant pair of female legs and the rudest door I've ever seen into a five foot high tunnel lined with plastic breasts. Okay, we're wearing. Uh, what do you call them? Things have leather with those stringy things. It's like a dominatrix outfit. And <clears throat> let's see. Uh, 70s porn. Nice. Blast from a giant screen before cutting to, bizarrely, a nature documentary featuring late Aussie crocodile hunter Steve Irwin. I feel like Alice in Bonking Land as I take in the unfolded, unfolding debauchery. 
Welcome to Structoberfest. Structoberfest, an unofficial and na naughty offshoot of the famous Oktoberfest, which makes the annual booze marathon looks like a children's tea party. Wow, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, there you go. So, oh, look, you got to crawl through the pussy. Oh. Into the door. That's, oh. I guess what that, that's the root door Here, she wait. talks about. Here, take a picture of it with my phone and I will post <clears> it <throat> on UR. Okay. So you can see what we're talking about. So you have to pass this uh, chicky in the blue dress skirt and literally enter the building through the spread legs with a pussy. And then so when you nice. get in the tunnel, there's boob things hanging all over. You want to take a picture of that? Or? Hold on. Hold on. I got a freaking <clears throat> up. All right. We'll get to that. Well, we okay. can post the article, anyway, too. Well, you need to read it. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Secret Festival, which is now in the Sun newspaper of Britain. It's no longer secret. Right. Where revelers hardly embrace the instruction to leave their inhibitions at the door has proved a hit with Brits who are flocking to Bavaria's capital for the three-week Oktoberfest, which ends Hello, in Robin. six days' time. Hello, Robin. Okay, anyway, continue. Um, <clears throat> Mancunian, Mancunian, Mancunian visitor Dan tells me I arrived last night and I've already slept with five girls. I don't think he slept with them, though. <laughs> I think he actually boinked them. It's boinking land. I was meant to go to Oktoberfest, but what's the point when it's far more fun here? She had come to Munich to investigate Oktoberfest after hearing that locals were upset with the low-cut Bavarian barmaid outfits favored by female British revelers, mm -hmm. as well as the males, I hope. They made the traditional costume known as a You know how many dermal. kids are out there? They probably don't even care about tits anymore. Like, seriously? It's true. I really? don't care about tits. <laughs> I forgot you can see me. We're not talking about you at all. Oh. I have not <laughs> been to Stroktoberfest. So, <clears throat> they made a traditional costume known as a dirndl look like a porno dress, complained 70-year-old resident Franz Thauhammer, which actually is his porn name. Franz Thauhammer. Mm -hmm. Thou hammer used. Nothing could be further from the truth. Within minutes of turning up the vast Oktoberfest hall, my frock was mocked for not being busty enough. Really? Oh, that, oh that's actually her. I thought that was like the person leading you into okay. the door. This is actually the author. Okay. <clears throat> so you gotta wait. Make a way up. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, my boob dropped by my balls. <laughs> Shit. Munich local, Lena, 30, tells me we do cars and bras better as she insists I swap my UK fancy dress for an authentic 200 euro dirndl, an outfit featuring what she describes as the German version of a wonder bra. The bra packs more punch than boxing champ Anthony Joshua and I feel like a knockout as the super tight material boosts me from a modest C to a voluptuous E. Uh, e as in A. No. No. Yeah. Yeah, okay, continue. All right. <clears throat> Inside the beer halls, Brits are standing on wooden benches, benches and cheering each other to down steins, which is equivalent to two pints of ale. A pint is more than a... Whatever we have in America, huh? No, they have pints. If Is that a go, pint? If you go to a pub. A pub, yeah, but if you, like a regular bar, when you have the uh, the big, like, tall mug, I don't yeah. think that's an actual no. pint. I think no. that's less. Like, yeah, it's less. Nearby, <clears throat> ooh, wait. Uh, if you fail to drink, the crown booze and lobs pretzels at you. I actually like pretzels, so I might actually <laughs> fail on purpose and catch 75 pretzels. Are you going to hike your boobs up? I will if I get 75 pretzels okay. for failing to drink. Okay. Nearby, a 20-something brunette is cutting up some suspicious-looking white powder with her British driver's license, then snorting the lines. Ooh, 
stay away from salt, people. It could burn your nostrils. <laughs> but if I thought today could not get any more debaucherous, I was wrong. <laughs> this isn't the real party, whispers Matt, the salesman from Nottingham. This is just a warm up. Uh -huh. That's how I find myself on the short drive to Stoktoberfest, where skimpy outfits are the least of anyone's concern. Matt had warned me I needed to see it to believe it, and he was right. Ah, they have a wheel of misfortune. Drinkers okay. are playing a wild game of dares with the giant roulette wheel choosing forfeits such as swapping clothes, throwing your undies into a tree, running naked, and doing a shoey, drinking a stein from your shoe. Lap dance, nudie run. Kiss a stokey. Ooh, I guess. Do a okay, shoey. Okay, hold on. What are they considering a stokey? Uh, I um, would have to think that a stokey is something. A penis? Yeah, I would think. That's what I would think. <clears throat> Normally, what is that? Like a cigar or some shit? Uh, a stogie. Sto stogie. Stogie. Okay. It's a cigar. This is a stokey. Okay. I think it should say strokey. Strokey <laughs> a strokey. Okay. Right now, <clears throat> a 26 year old guy called Ben from Leeds is spinning it. The arrow lands on Give Us Your Undies, so he strips off and throws his boxers into a tree above where hundreds of, hundreds of other pairs already hang. This place is wild, as he tries to put his clothes back on. <laughs> <clears throat> I've never been to a party like this. I'm sharing a tent with a randomer, but he wasn't very happy when he returned that I was having sex with a girl in there. Well, then he should have fucking joined or shut the fuck up. Because somebody's getting laid, you should be happy for your new friend. Exactly. You're not going back there to sleep. Ben disappeared. All of a, hold on. All of a sudden, I get this strange feeling that Ed wants to go to Munich. You, you kidding? <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm reading this, I've actually set up a plane ticket on my phone. <laughs> Fuck this. I'm actually, I'm leaving for the airport in eight minutes. I'm going to drink my shot and I'm fucking out of here. Anyway, we're, speaking of shot, where's Lisa? Hopefully. I don't know. What the fuck? Has she come on yet? What the fuck? Damn, Robin, you got kicked out again? She. So, well, wait a minute. She might be here. Let's see. No, Lisa, say something. No. Somebody loved that uh, Robin was here, and I think that, and it was uh, Joe. <clears throat> so this guy, Ben, disappeared into the darkness, and more festival goers board the steps to take their turn at the wheel. Two girls land on running naked, so they strip off and race screaming through the crowd. Ah, yes. Let's see. I am assuming this is There's the. Lisa. Okay. I am assuming this is the kiss the stogie. Oh, hi, Lisa. Did you hear? I'm flying out. I'm leaving at 8.59. Okay. No Shotsky tonight. Yeah, okay. Keep going. That must be the kiss the stogie. <laughs> They're doing a stand-up 69. Hold it. Well, he's standing. Hold it. Take a picture so I can post it for everyone. He's standing. She is being held. Mouth on penile. There you go. Actually, if I took it upside down, it would look like she's holding him. It's true. Um, <clears throat> hold on. Let's see. Revelers dancing in front of the main stage are going as wild as the DJ. Blasts out Renegade Master, and people start throwing beer all over each other. Picture I'm just posting is the Stokey. Go ahead. Stokey. Stokey. Kissing the Stokey Stokey. Sticking at the dicking it. Around the corner, there's a long queue for their super secret party. It ain't that secret if there's a long line for it. Exactly. You need a special ticket to enter. Look, look, Uncle Lambert, I got the golden ticket. I get to go through Willy Wonka's, Willy Wonka's fuckery. Oh, you, know, you miss Willy? Yeah, I knew that was coming. <laughs> you know, me and the golden ticket, I had to fucking use that. Uh, we have the Ed Beater, the one who oh, still out. You need a special ticket to enter, and it feels like a scene from the erotic 90s film Eyes Wide Shut as you're handed a masquerade mask on arrival. Inside, a girl is guzzling beer through a long tube cheered on by revelers. Uh, 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 mommy, look what she's... Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. 
Oh, Lisa said hi to you, but not me. See, it's because Lisa loves me. Yes, Edwin's get to fly on airlines. I, however, have special passenger sections that I have to clear. They always do an anal cavity search. I don't know why. <clears throat> uh, maybe because you <clears throat> asked them to? Oh, could be. Half-naked fire breathers are performing risque tricks while naughty guests writhe on the ground. Naked mannequins loom in corners of the room. Huh. I wonder if I'll find my blow-up doll in the corner of the room. Henrietta! Yes. Oh, my God. Henrietta, no. how did you make it here? No, that would be Henrietta's distant cousin. So, Hank? No, so you're cheating on her. Ooh. With someone. That's even that better. With a <clears throat> German Helga. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see. Nearby, young couples are piling into the kissing booth. It's not just for kissing on the lips, giggles one girl as she drags a guy towards it. All righty. And do, do they get pictures of I don't this know. Action? Well, there's it's a what, picture right there, but those are just two just people kissing. kissing. But if it's a kissing booth, and normally you go in there and you get pictures, wouldn't you get pictures in the booth if you're kissing something else or something, you know? The other you lips? Would, you would think that it would be... A memento for the evening. Yes? Yes. Okay. Actually, you the memento might be an STD on your mouth. That's what I... You know how I feel about that. So oh, yeah. you know I'm already all over that with the nasties. So... You might want to rephrase how you're all over it with the nasties. No. All over knowing that there's all kinds of nasties mm. going on. Let's put it that way. Okay. So the guy that's kissing this chick says, <clears throat> oh no, the guy, the, the girl that said it's not just, oh God. Go ahead. That was for Lisa. <clears throat> oh, nice. <laughs> so uh, let's see. So the, the guy that's with this girl says, it's all beer, boobs, and bonking here. What's not to love? For just 60 euros, which is 53 pounds, approximately 100 bucks, a night you arrive to your pre erected tent. And for 10 euros a day, you get unlimited beer, sangria, and food. People start queuing for booze from 8 a.m. Queuing, as in lining up. Okay. At Oktoberfest, you're looking at 12 euros a stein and at least 350 pounds a night for a hotel room in Munich, which would be approximately seven $800. Okay. The event is run by Stoke Travel. The, the fun event. <clears throat> okay. An alternative festival company based now, in Barcelona. What, 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 what? Okay, the fun event? Are you trying to say Oktoberfest is not fun? Based on what these people are saying, this is more fun. These these are sexified people going out there saying, hey, come on, give me some kind of disease because I'm going to be humping everyone. Let's just spread the, the germ. Right. So, so you're understanding what I've been reading. <laughs> yes. So basically... You're saying that's more fun than just going to Oktoberfest and having fun, like regular fun. No, I'm not saying that. This is what these people okay. are saying. Unless, these people are mostly 20, and, 30 Unless you like, just want to get have laid. a roll and you're like <clears throat> full of condoms, you know, you just spew them out like that and roll them out and line up the girls. Oh, roll up. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> just saying. Mm. I need to speak to some of my friends who go to Germany often Let's and see. find out a little more detail. Hmm. On site, there's a fancy dress shop selling Bavarian outfits for just 70 euros. You also have live bands, glitter painting, a tattoo parlor, several bars, and a shisha lounge, which I don't know what that is. Hello, Michael. I will look up a shisha lounge. Thank you, Michael. And explain. Hello, John. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> let's see. If there's nothing to stop these frisky festival goers from getting exactly, Michael. That's kicks. what those magnums are for. Uh, oh, nice, John <laughs> the demagogue <laughs> Capelli. Hello, John. It does sound great, Mike. I know it's awesome, man. It's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, what? what kind of...
kind of Henrietta did you know there, Lisa? Oh, why? What's going on? What did I miss? I don't know. She goes, if you only knew the Henrietta I did. Oh. Oh. Sounds like an interesting set of something, yes, something, it something. Does. Oh, do tell. <clears throat> His Henrietta is the one from Evil Dead. The one that says, I'll swallow your soul, swallow your soul, I'll swallow your soul. <laughs> <laughs> and her head comes up. <laughs> anyway. Nice. Let's see. 2,000 tents in this place. In free really? love style, most tenants have left the canvas wide open. You want to see somebody boink? You want to pick up some pointers? Right there. We didn't quite make it to Oktoberfest, giggles a pretty brunette who's sandwiched between two handsome guys, all three naked after having a threesome. We've only left the tent to top up on beer before turning and kissing the boys and sucking their dicks and fucking again. Fearing they'll nice. ask me to join in any second, I scuttle off and soon pass another couple getting steamy in the backseat of a car. Seemingly enjoying an audience. Terrified of what I'll see next, I leave. <coughs> the next morning, I wake up in my peaceful hotel room and ponder if I dreamt the whole thing. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wonder if the locust moaned about some of the notes going down the road. Let's see. Ooh, wow, I don't know. It's uh, pretty uh, intense, apparently. No. Thought you were working your way in for the kill. <laughs> no, I already have them out. <clears throat> yeah, you have fun with that. Ah, God. Mm. I feel so much better when I do that. You just have no idea that he's, he's nice and clean. There you go. Make sure the guy diving through the, uh, through the opening. Watch. Diving right I in. I saw man ass. You saw man ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's still like a fucking now, Listen to the music is all you need to know. <laughs> Come on, Ed. <laughs> oh, right. We're gonna, we're gonna close that baby out. Shut the sound down. Okay. <clears throat> We're just having Shocktoberfest over here. Hookah Lounge. Oh, that's what Michael said. Hookah Lounge. Is a den of buzz establishments where patrons share shisha from a communal hookah or one for, which is placed a hookah. Okay, what's a hookah? Do you, John? Is a hookah like a, a Brooklyn hooker? Hey, I went and had this hookah last night. I'm ready. Socialize and embrace multi oh, culturalism. I Fuck. love that snack. Oof. Modern hookahs <laughs> with fruit bowls or other kinds of improvements over smoking hookah at home. Uh -huh. So it's some kind of a hash bar or something. No, maybe they have someone like you there, actually. Because um, they can all abuse you and you would uh -oh. fucking love it. Why? John loves the spanking. That's why I said I'm ready. I love that snack. <laughs> <laughs> Flip your ear, but you'll have ear things. I don't know. <laughs> you'll never win. That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, John wants you to spank him. Hey, line up. I'll spank you. <laughs> it's my specialty. <laughs> Joe, yeah, you want to call in, Joe? Call in. Come on, Joe. Call in. Mm -mm. <clears throat> Let's hear from Joe. We haven't heard from Joe in a while. We haven't heard from Joe in a while. Yes. And? And MJ joined. Hello, MJ. You've been missing she, all the fun. I don't have MJ joining, but she did like the video or reacted to it. All right, I need to do a refresh. All right, you do that. It's kind of hung. Oh, I am hung up. It's not even moving. <clears throat> okay. So, okay. Okay. So, Why do you sound like you're going to 
Shit. Oh, my neck is killing me. It's like, the whole day at the office, I leaned over, working on stuff, and bullshit. Ed, Ed, uh, Ed. What? What? Ed. Eggs? Ed. What? You're a fucking whiner. Not a whiner. I mean, I'm not a whiner. God. Fuck you. <laughs> you wanted to be closer. Hello, Unusual Radio. How can we assist you? Uh, can I get large pizza, thin crust, extra sauce, mushrooms, and meatball? Actually, we have that right here for you. Oh, oh thank you so much. Oh, oh, oh. Can I have that delivered? Yes, well, look. Look, look what it's getting you. <laughs> I'm wearing it on my head. As we speak yes, ish. I know. <laughs> when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's some more day. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys up to? You guys having fun? We always have fun, you know that. Yeah, I know. I know. When well, you come down and see me. As soon as I can. It's been really busy here, you know that. Yeah, I know. You're always busy. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like, you know, shit going on. That's right. Yeah, going I on, Going on and going off. We've missed you too, MJ. Yes. Moving and so running after So, Joe, you, you've been, like, quiet. <clears throat> like, I haven't, every time mm -hmm. I, like, I haven't been catching your remarks and stuff. Yeah, um, I've been busy at work, you know. Yeah, I know. For a couple of weeks, you were always late coming on. Yeah, I, I throw some stuff out there, but I don't really get into, you know, look through Facebook that much. Hmm. Huh. <clears throat> you know, that hurts. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You're losing her, Joe. Hey, I, I do leave some remarks on Tiny's posts and your posts. And, That's true. You know. That's right, everybody. Make sure you check out the group. Uh, unusual radio extravaganza and I have yeah. my page that I will be funking up with all the stupid shit that I do I've funking. only put like stupid shit on so far but um, it will be funking up on my daily stuff so that's unusual radio Tanya's or unusual radios Tanya and then we're going to have Ed and then yes we are going to make a page for Keith so oh. make sure you are checked into the three that are on there and because we want to hear yes, from Robin. you. It's Joe on the phone, Robin. Yes. So. I have a page for Keith. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, don't you love that snap? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You do. <laughs> John does. A lot of other people do. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's Shotsky time. Shh. <laughs> And Lisa's slacking. It's 9 07. She has to be reminding me, chug, 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 chug. I know. What's up with Lisa? <clears throat> and April's been quiet for weeks now. Yeah. She comes on, but she doesn't say anything. I April. Think she was planning the birthday party and got worn out. Could be. Oh, boy. I don't know about you guys. Hey, you got to tune in Sunday afternoon, 3 o'clock. That's and right. you, get, you have to call in with questions for uh, Anthony because it is going to be crazy, insane with this whole business with the Vatican and the Pope and all kinds okay. of things that people are not aware of that have been going on. So I'm, right. I'm very honored that he would like me to do his interview. So Sunday at 3 o'clock, we're going live and... It's going to be a crazy day, so... Well, send me an invite, and I will be there. Yes. And I will definitely tell other people, as soon as I get the invite, I'll, you know, do a watch party, as usual. Yes. It's going to be crazy. Mm -hmm. This is okay. going to open up a whole <clears throat> can of dog food. Whole oh, can yeah. of dog food, <laughs> yeah. That's what we use to catch fish. Dog food. We put dog food on the hood. Uh, I know, I know how you guys are. <laughs> I've known Tanya for too long, so yeah, I know. <laughs> nice. So. Oh, man. All right.
Yeah, but definitely I'll be there. All right. I'll be watching. Sounds good. And I will start a watch party for it. So you know that. Yes, John. It, it, there's a lot of uh, stuff. Three o'clock. You want to tune Truth. in on? Yes, on. Uh, Lots Sunday. of truth that actually was conspiracies. Yes, and, and a lot of stuff that people are not aware of that he is now bringing out because he was part of it. And, Hi, Shannon. Uh, Hello, yeah, Paul. He, he, don't want to, he said he will answer all questions. Um, <coughs> so get, I'll have a number up. You can post questions as we're going live. Everything, it's going to be just crazy. Um, okay. It's gonna be. Okay, sounds good. Yes, it's gonna. I'm into crazy, you know that. Yes, it's it. <laughs> this is gonna be something. So we'll see what happens. But you know, I have a big mouth, and I always put everything out there. So I'm willing to do it. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> so. All right, I'll let you guys get back to what you're doing, and uh, I'll keep on watching. All right, well, thank you, Joe. Love you, Joe. I'll uh, talk I love you, too, sweetheart. Bye, Ed. Okay. See you, Joe. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, John, it's really going to be very intense. Oh. Hello, Sorry, Jim. dudes. Um, it's going to be very intense, the stuff that you find out. Uh, just a little bit that I know so far. I'm like, wow. So, but he's going to give you in depth on everything. So, you don't want to miss it. So, this is a special we normally don't do weekends, you know, just maybe a little high or something. But this is a special broadcasting that we will be high. doing. We little, do weekends a little high? No. We... Damn, I can't even cover the right spot. First of my arm, then it's my leg, then it's my head. Oh, shit. Ah! Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> anyway. Um, yes, you got to fly. <laughs> yeah. Paul said the studio looks great. Nice job, Tanya. So I said, well, we Thank both you. worked on it. Oh. She did a lot today. But, and by the time I came back to the comments, he's like, and Ed. <laughs> so I'm like, thanks, man. I love you, yes. man. Yes. So... so so, yeah, you, you, yes, chug time, sorry. Tonight's Shotsky is brought to you by Tanya's Whip Prop. And, once again, it's in honor of Bob. Yes. Miss you, bud. Bob. So. There he goes again. Okay. Mm-hmm, good. Okay. Good. Now, on to the next article that I sent you, please. Okay. Uh, let's see. i got to give him the number. 908-647-4039. It's not the number on our website because we haven't had it changed back to the original number yet. <clears throat> yes. So there you go, John. <clears throat> Call that number. What am I looking – what am I doing, saying? What? Um, I'm well, I'll be, are you – well, you're going to be here for it, too. So, but we'll also be giving out our uh, numbers so people can call in and talk to him via speaker that way, just so, uh, you know, because I don't know. Yeah, we can use my phone because this phone yeah. really does suck. Yeah, it does. I don't know why it sucks. It didn't when it was at the other place. I don't know what's going on with it, but. I'll move it around, see if it actually works better, like over there, just to see. I don't know. We'll have to see. But uh, we, there will you can call in or you can, you know, do it the chat whatever. But he'll answer all questions. It's gonna be off the hook. Like the phone is right now, off the hook. Really? Right, okay. That was a lame, corny attempt at a funny. Okay. Sorry. All right. So now on <clears throat> to the next one, please. For God's sake. The next what? You're lulling. I I'm gave you lulling. two articles. Drew. They were the same exact article. No, they weren't. Yes, they were. I sent you two different ones. You sent me two emails, and both of them had the exact same link. Fuck, oh, I had a feeling I did that. <laughs> <laughs> Such an idiot. Excuse me? Such an idiot. Idiot. Oh. 
Hey, look, just stick it in my ear, will you? Ah, oh, nice, nice. See, he likes that. He likes that. He sits like that. Oh, jeez. Sick fuck. Okay. Anyway, so yeah, that sick fuck was listening to Christmas music today. I don't know if anyone can see this. Um, yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. Don't know because it wasn't it wasn't me. You know, he has this Christmas fetish. Um, I know. It's going to voicemail. How's it going to voicemail? What? John, try it again. I mean, it might have gone to voicemail when Joe was on the phone. Maybe because you took it off the hook. For one and a half seconds. That's probably when he called. Which was two minutes after I put the number in. Yeah, well, we have a delay. Phone is fine. <laughs> Joe called in. Try it again. If you were calling when Joe was on the phone, you, then you're not going to get through. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Give us oh, a are you going to send me the other email? The other, uh, what do you call it? Oh, here we I, go. I can't get off of this. I have to keep this up. I can't. What was the gist of it? Another. Hello, and use your radio. How can we fuck up your day today? <laughs> All right. Can I place an order for one small salad? Yes, actually. Uh, hold on. Let me drop the. Uh... Oh, wait. You want your salad tossed. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, here we go. I see where this is going. Uh, it's Johnny Boy. Hello, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy. You'd be saying that with a heavy Irish accent. It's Johnny Boy. You can't. I'm not Italian. What can I say? Yeah, well, actually, it came across as close as you could, no, being no, Italian. No, that's when you have to say, let's do it for Johnny. Let's do it for Johnny, man. Yeah, man. Yo, have a shot, dude. Johnny, Johnny gave his life for, all right, well, he just can't make it tonight, but he didn't really give his life. But let's do a shot Johnny, for him anyway. Johnny, just for us, man. <laughs> so what are you doing tonight, Johnny? Oh, what are you oh God. I'm going to be calling it on that conspiracy theory stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you guys don't even know about. Oh, I know. There is a lot of stuff that... It's like I said, there's so much stuff that's going to be opened up. It's insane. So, uh, also, there's all the technology that's, that's going to be opening up. I'm looking for I'm my telling thing. you, there's a whole bunch of stuff that people don't know about. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Yep. You are so, just the technology that came out last year. Uh huh. Yeah. That's, that's, and, and then, and also, um, that, that, um, platform that you're going on, uh -huh. created by the government. Yep. Um, yeah, that's why I said we're opening up a whole cam, can of, uh, dog food. Can of worms. Uh, no, I'm saying dog food because I don't like the war. <laughs> so, yeah, he, she doesn't uh, use that word. She doesn't like those creatures. Don't like those creatures, the worms? Uh, no. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it's dog food. <laughs> she actually said it last week. I did. Or Monday, Monday, last Friday or Monday. Yes. She says it's gonna open up a whole can of wood, and she said the word. Yes. And I repeated it. I repeated it, and I got hit. Well, that's because you deserve it. Oh God! You're in there again. I don't have. I don't have a. I'm going out my phone watching you guys. <laughs> so are you actually watching yourself talk right now? No, 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 no. Um, I, um, I, I use my cell phone to watch you right now. I, no. I, um, on my cell phone right now. Nice. So, okay. Okay. I can't dump, I can't walk right there. I wish I was in another dimension altogether. Yes, it is. <clears throat> yes. So, yes. Three I'm waiting. For, I'm waiting. Waiting to come down for that spanking time, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> I, gotta say, I gotta say, you're my milk crush Monday every Monday. That is great. <laughs> well, I can tell you, we're gonna be doing some uh, events. So if you show up there, I'll be sure to give you a spanking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you're moving up, up north, northern New York. I live in New York. That would be good. There you I go. I live all the way up in the Bronx. It sucks, but I can't get down there. 
God. <laughs> well, you know, eventually at one of our events, I'm quite certain I can give you a spanking. I will. Okay, I, thank you. Yes. I would love that. <laughs> our next event with Unusual Radio is going to be $10 a person for tickets to watch John get spanked by Tanya. <laughs> So, okay, am I, getting, am I getting 1% of that? Uh, actually, I'm going to give you 5%, not 1%. <laughs> okay. That's, that's what I'm doing. You got it, brother. It'd be, it'd be pleasure and pain. Pleasure <laughs> <laughs> with the pain. Actually, uh, now that you said that, we're going to charge ten I mean, $20 a ticket. I think. Okay. I think we can make us all some nice moolah. Okay. <clears throat> How long can can John handle being uh, spanked? There we go. I'm 29. <laughs> 29. And I wonder if that means 29 spanks. I'm 29 years old. Uh, uh, How about... Be paid. How about 29 by 29? 29 by 29? That's how many spanks he has to get. 29 squared? That's like 887. There you go. That's how many he has to get. 881. I'm Rain Man. 881. Keyboard sucks. Oh, it's 1990. 1990. You are a baby. You are a baby. I think it's actually illegal for her to spank you. She could go to jail. I know. That'd be kind of like, that'd be kind of like, uh, watching the rock in the cradle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm 29 and I already have gray hair, so. so no way, dude. I have gray hair in my beard. That's funny. Really? You got, oh, gray hair in the beard, okay. Well, yeah. that's a little different, because if, you know, you're going down on an older woman, sometimes the gray rubs off. Oh. My. God. Now, hello. No, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah. Fuck me. Not if you keep your coochie clean and you shave or wax that shit. Yes, MJ, you can get some. I kind of like, like a little bit of a, little bit of a, 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 a jungle down there. Oh, all natural. Oh. No, it's not, not, not all natural, but a little bit. Not like the Amazon rainforest, but I like the woods in Jersey. Oh! The, the woods in Jersey? The woods in Jersey. Oh. And it's like, it's like big to small. Nice. Oh. <clears throat> okay, so do you like, wait, hold on, hold on. Do you like, you know, the runway, the Hitler, you know, just... What? Like, like, oh, the, oh, never mind. I got it. I got it. Sorry, I was thrown off into my uh, of his clueless world. My conservative hatred of all things Hitler. Yes. But yes, I get it. The little mm, oh, the runway, the runway strip. I keep my my is because when I'm eating a girl out and my um and my chin beard it tickles the anus. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> I need to start growing a beard. <laughs> okay, now how do you feel about the anus? Uh, I, I like it. It, 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 it gives a girl better pleasure. And also it gives a man better pleasure, too. Okay, no, but I'm talking about... That's true. But no, wait, I'm talking about orally. Would you touch it orally? Would you yeah. eat the anus? Yes. Really? Oh, he's very outgoing. He's adventurous. He's I'm, 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 I'm very adventurous. I'm five, so I am very adventurous. Wow. Okay. That's, <clears> I like colors like you. I actually, actually, actually get off by giving oral pleasure. Oh. Nice. Damn. Hey, our, our tickets are up to $40 now. <laughs> you, you keep talking, brother. And not only are they $40, but you're getting 20%. <laughs> okay. John, you're like... The, you're the kind of caller we love because you just put it out there. That's that's, right. that's what we like. Uh, you yeah. just unzip. Actually, actually, when I was younger, um, the first time I actually was with a, a chick, 
a tea girl. That was the, the first time I ever was with a tea girl. Oh my god, that was the best day of my life. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> $50. Do I hear $50? Wow. Wow. You just unzipping it and putting it out there. That's I don't know. I don't oh, care. That was loud. Sorry. I'm trying to make my own radio personality. Hey. hey, you know what? Nothing wrong there. Hey, you guys, you get. You are working it. This is what we want to hear on this show. We want to hear everyone's true. Like, throw it out there. It's the way I sit there, Joe. It looks you know. bad. We do, we do Fantasy Friday. Do what? Fantasy Fridays. Fantasy Fridays. Oh, Fantasy Fridays. Ah. Yeah, but see, that, we could, we've talked about fantasies. Excuse me. But, um, you know, we, we've actually dove into, excuse me, many different uh, areas, but, um, a lot of people are very shy to discuss these things. I can, I, I can, let's just say I've talked to any of men and women. Say that again? Say it again. I've talked, I've talked to therapy for men and women. Alike. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh. Oh. So you don't, can, you don't mind being with men, a man or a woman? Nope. That's, 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 yeah. Get off you said he was bi. Okay. No, I didn't hear that before. Oh, I, okay. I, I did. All I thought right. you did. Uh, hey, there you go. Hey, hello, Robert. See, there you go. Right there. Putting it out there. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, uh, it, it's the best pleasure in the world because I'm like, and, and, and big boobs are the best. Uh oh. <laughs> What's the best? Big boobs. Oh. All right. Well, Tanya's your girl. Oh, my God. We're up to 60. And, imagine, imagine, imagine. And, and, and you're, we're, we're up to sixty dollars a ticket. And you're up to thirty percent. I'd be in a strap on. I would be in my head. Pretty soon, I won't even be able to MC this event because it'll be too expensive for me. No, we'll give you a free show. Oh! There you go. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> now, through all I haven't seen Tanya turn red in here in about two months now, ever since Bubble Toes came to light. <laughs> uh, I want to I make her, I want, I want, I want, I want the rest to turn into, into no clothes. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> now, you know, I'm really surprised Paul has not joined in on this conversation. I think Paul's listening while he whacks himself off. <laughs> is that true, Paul? Is that true? You, you have memories of C Block with me and the boys? I was just going to say, does he have memories with you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah, Paul's slack. No, you're telling you this number. You're <laughs> telling you my number. <laughs> so I'm expecting a call after the show. <laughs> so, we can, so, we can, so we can schedule our event. Oh, that's too funny. Um, actually, after the show, I do have to make a phone call, but it has to do with my guest that's coming on Sunday. So, I can actually, I can actually, yeah, so I'm can actually support some of your, your claims on that, too. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm a truther. Well, like I said, uh, you'll, you're going to have to watch Sunday at 3 o'clock because, and like I said, chime in, call in, do whatever you have to do um, because it's going to be. Uh, phenomenal so i just have to uh, tie some loose that ends up and discuss a few things uh for this weekend so yeah i'm still going to be working after the show while you okay and tanya call me after the show before that guy <laughs> i'm telling you you're my milk push monday <laughs> every every monday <laughs> every monday i'm his monday girl <laughs> what? Am I your Monday girl? No, you're my everyday girl. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I especially like this drunk line. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Thank you. Yes. I uh, had it for quite a while, and then I went blonde this summer, like all blonde. And then I was like, I want my skunk straight back. So. Yeah, you should straight blonde all black on one day. Do that for Halloween. Well, once you go black, you never go back. I don't Yes, but you can be for Halloween. <laughs> you got a great laugh. Sesame Street? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not far from me. Or from us, I should say. <clears throat> no, but I think they filmed that in the city. I don't know. I don't think they actually film it in Sesame Street. Oh, my God. That mm. is too funny. You are hysterical. You, Absolutely. Yes, you do. I told you last year is the best way to get to go to The what? Laughter is the best way to get into a girl's game. What? Laughter. Oh, laughter. Oh, yeah. Oh, laughter is the best way. Yes. Yes, it is. I agree. So, so do I drop the key or no? Do you what? Do you have the key. Do you have the key? Ooh. Get in. Excuse me. <laughs> Not yet. I, I, Not yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I <clears throat> plan on being single for a while, so. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but uh, yeah, but I, I will definitely spank you. I, I can do that. So, like I said, you have to come to our next event, and I will give you. Your